Hi, everyone. It is so nice to be here. I want to thank Jeffrey for that uh, ridiculously warm and uh, generous opening and welcoming. Thank you. Um, I, I am so happy to have all of you here today with me to celebrate your accomplishments and your connection to this college that you love and that beats in so many of your hearts. I know that because I have had the pleasure of talking to many of you and to hear the sparkle in your eye when you talk about what it was like when you attended uh, Brooklyn College and your voracious appetite for understanding what the college is like today um, and comparing and contrasting how the college is today from uh, what it was like when you went to school here. Uh, some of you have traveled from as far as Florida and Colorado uh, Boston and uh, North Carolina to see your classmates and longtime friends today and to reconnect with the school that you love. That tells me a lot about the spirit of this place and also its impact on your life. Uh, and this is a place that you rightly call home. So as the new president, I want to say welcome home. And I want to say that many people here missed you while you were away and uh, are glad to see you back. Um, I am very honored to be here as the 10th president uh, of Brooklyn College, and I began my work on August 1st, so some seven weeks ago. And in the first seven weeks, I have been thrilled by the outpouring of uh, affection and uh, uh, warm feelings that I've gotten from so many of you and everyone really I speak to. I've spoken with elected officials and students and faculty and every, everyone has a lot to say about this place. This isn't a place that people feel neutrally about. Uh, this is a place that people are passionately engaged with and have a stake in. Uh, and they want to share their stake with you. And they want to be engaged with you, uh, in, 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 with me and with you, in shaping its future. So um, I'm, I'm really thrilled by that engagement that I hear from the alums and uh, from everybody I've met. I come to you and I come to this office with a profound commitment to public higher education. And I'm particularly thrilled by the mission and the diversity of this campus. Um, I'm inspired by our commitment to provide a first rate education to the uh, sons and daughters of immigrants in particular and first and second generation immigrants. Um, and to those who are first or second generation in their families to attend college. Uh, those are the students primarily that we serve here, and I'm proud to do so. I feel tremendous gratitude for the opportunity to work with you uh, and, and the dedicated faculty and dedicated alums who understand the value of a Brooklyn College uh, degree. And to begin my presidency, I'm engaging in what I'm calling a listening tour. I'm going around and talking to various stakeholders uh, uh, various groups, in small groups, individually, and in larger groups, to talk about uh, how you understand the campus, in part to educate me, uh, very specifically, about how the institution sees itself, and also to help us shape a future together. So the four things that I am uh, asking people about are about our identity at Brooklyn College, our culture, the challenges we face, and our hopes for the future. In terms of our identity, <clears throat> I'd, I'd be fascinated to hear from each of you uh, what you consider to be the identity of Brooklyn College, what makes it unique and important, distinctive. Culture, how do you see the culture of Brooklyn College and how can we improve it together? Because I want to improve the culture with you. What are the most important challenges we face? We all know that we face a fiscal challenge in, in terms of the uh, resources that the state gives uh, all of the CUNY campuses, Brooklyn College is one of them. Uh, but there are other challenges that we face, and I'd love to hear from you what you think the most significant challenges are that we face here at Brooklyn College. And then really the last one is about our hopes for the future. How do you want to see Brooklyn College evolve? We know the institution needs to evolve, it needs to be stronger, and I'd love to hear from each of you how you would like to see it in five years, in 10 years. So I'm having open forums for students, faculty, staff. I also hope to have and develop an open forum for alums to come and share their thoughts with me about these core questions. We're gonna be reaching out to people on email 
and uh, uh, regular mail to solicit feedback on these key questions. And I am open to hearing from any of you. If you want to send me a letter or uh, come up to me and talk to me about any of these things, I'd love to hear from you about our identity, our culture, our challenges, and then how you want to see the institution evolve over time. Uh, my job, it seems to me, at Brooklyn College is to enrich our students' experience, to enhance the uh, extraordinary programs that we offer um, and the excellence of those programs, long-term to increase the value of the Brooklyn College degree for each of our alums, um, and also to make us a more stronger institution, as I mentioned before, more nimble, more responsive to student needs, uh, more innovative and visionary, more hopeful as an institution. And I hope that this listening tour, where I hear from the major stakeholders of Brooklyn College, will help me carry out my job. And I hope that it also helps to lay a foundation for the strategic planning process that we need to engage in collectively as an institution to chart our future for the next five years. Usually, at institutions of higher education, you develop a five-year strategic plan. And uh, in order to do so, it helps to identify these key questions and to come together collectively to deliberate upon them, to reflect upon them. As you know, at our best, Brooklyn College helps generations of students uh, discover themselves through serious academic engagement in an environment that nurtures debate and prepares students to uh, obtain success in the world. Uh, and the power to shape their own uniquely American experience. A few weeks ago, a lot of folks have asked me actually today about what the students look like today. Who are the students today at Brooklyn College? A few weeks ago, I welcomed a new class of students to uh, Brooklyn College <clears throat> at a convocation ceremony. Uh, they total over 4,000 students, and this is undergraduate students. These are graduate students. They are first year undergraduates, they are transfers in, and you may be interested to know that 60, 70% of our students are transfers in, not first year students. Very different over time how this institution has evolved. So they, they total over 4,000 students. They represent over 100 countries and speak more than 40 languages. So when you walk around the quad today, I was talking with some folks this morning who said that uh, y'all weren't allowed to sit on the beautiful green out there in the quad. That, that was a shame. Um, because students sit out on the green today, and uh, they are all stripes of students, and they enjoy the sunshine while they can uh, at this time of year, and, and really enjoy the beautiful weather of September um, here on the campus. The diversity of our student body is extraordinary today, um, and it represents the <clears throat> demographic shifts in, in the borough over, the, over time. And I reminded these students <clears throat> at convocation that uh, this opportunity to read, to think, to reflect, to be creative, uh, to test ideas, and to revise one's own thinking that happens uh, at college is a privilege. And most people in this world don't have the opportunity to engage in this kind of education. And uh, that we should all cherish it. Because when you go out into the real world, as you all know, you don't have the same time to do those things that you love and that you had the time to do when you were a student at Brooklyn College. And Brooklyn College, as you know, has always been a place of uh, intense intellectual curiosity and democratic engagement with the world in robust ways. When Frank President uh, Franklin Roosevelt laid the cornerstone of the gymnasium in 1936, he said he hoped that the college would, quote, live on through the generations to come for the building of a better American citizenship. It's a noble ideal, and uh, Roosevelt's vision has, and I believe continues, uh, to be realized. When I look at the distinction that so many of you have brought to your own professions, uh, and uh, the commitment you demonstrate to the college and uh, to what is your alma mater, I see engaged citizenship at its best. And when I walk around this beautiful campus that so many of you remember um, and see the amazing diversity of our students who continue to break barriers uh, and continue to win extraordinary national awards like the Fulbright, the Truman, the Rhodes Scholarship, I see the American dream in action. And I know that we're fulfilling our own promise uh, to provide a world-class education to, to deserving students 
who have the same hopes and dreams that you had when you came to this campus a number of years ago. Your example of achievement is an important lantern for them to see themselves in the future and on the path that they end up traveling. Congratulations to all the alums who have uh, uh, justifi justifiably, uh, uh, they will be presented with awards today. I'm really happy that we can formally acknowledge your achievements here in this forum and your contributions to your communities, to this college, and to your respective fields. I want to thank you very much for the opportunity to serve you and to work with you uh, toward making Brooklyn College the best that it can be. Thank you very much.